Hello and welcome to my craft room tour and update. It's been four years since my last tour and some things are the same and some things have changed. So I'm going to do a fairly in-depth kind of walk around my room. I'm not going to go through everything exactly. So if you do have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to pop them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'd also like to know what is your favorite storage idea in your crafty space? In fact, we'd all like to know. So if you can put that in the comments down below, that would be great. So I'm gonna start with a bit of an overview of the room. I have a trolley with all my Cricut stuff on there, a bookshelf, a couple of sets of drawers. And then I've got my storage shelves and some more drawers. And that's probably the bit that you're gonna see the most when I'm on my lives, you'll see it behind me. And then there's my computer. So I do all my editing and everything on the computer there. I have another set of drawers, a pegboard, a second computer screen, because this is what I'm looking at when I'm doing my live, so I can see what's going on. And this is the main area where I do all of my work and creating, and that's where I film as well. I've got a cat pole there in the corner of my desk, so this is in a like a U shape, so I've got everything in front of me here. And that's so the girls can join me while I'm crafting if they want to. <laughs> and then I've got an open cupboard here and I'll show you the other side of that shortly as well as a rose gold cart. So this is something I just had to have. <laughs> it really probably didn't need but it's so pretty. I saw everyone creating their own pegboards. This one's from Ikea and this one actually attaches to my table but I did have to anchor it to the wall as well because I just had probably too much stuff on there so it was a little bit wobbly. But I keep my Prismacolor pencils. Um, the orange book there is just the one that I design in when I'm, I have my Nuvo drops. They're just stored in a container from Amazon that is for nail polish. And behind the computer screen is just a container. Oh, actually I'll grab it. Because you really need to see this, it's really pretty. And that's just a fridge bin and these are the old style of Copic marker refills they're a lot smaller now I think maybe even half the size so I don't tend to buy any new colors for my Copics anymore I just bought all the refills and I will just keep using those unless I desperately need a new color we'll see now this is directly in front of me here I have a sec the second computer screen just so when I'm creating on the live I can see comments and see if I'm in in picture. <laughs> I have a little shelf it's from Ikea directly in front of me and another Lazy Susan that I have some pens and things. I keep my brushes on the left side and some blank card bases next to that. Above that I have a plastic storage bin that um, has things that I either want to use up or if I've got a new product that I want to use soon um, that um, goes into there so it's right in front of my face. <laughs> I have my wheel there for my colours as well and then I have my Copics and I have all my artist markers in there as well. So I keep all my artist markers in families and these storage containers are great for that because they have like four different compartments and the length of them is perfect. I can just grab them out as I need them and they're straight in front of me. I also keep my mini blossom on my desk with me so I can just grab that. Right, this is new to me too. I have one of these roundy things <laughs> it's from scrapbook.com. I've been trying to search for a way to store my adhesives right beside me that I can grab them and it's working really well it's probably a couple of things I might try and change up about them but so far I really like it I can keep all my tapes and everything right beside me I can just grab my pens in the top I can fit lots of bits and pieces everything that I need straight away I have my chamois powder tool liquid glues the chucky that I made myself sprays to clean my stamps pens pencils 
the stamps that I actually stamp onto the back of my cards so my personalized stamps and on the top I have everything from the gum eraser sequins uh, conditioning tool from Altenew I use that a lot the, I really like these conditioning tools from Altenew and I keep my Teflon bone folder in there as well and I actually use these pens to write on the inside of my cards Aren't they cute they're so pretty they're from Altenew so this is probably the section that I would change up and I will have to work something out. I keep my dotted adhesives in here. Maybe I'll just put um, something down the side because that sometimes they can kind of fall out. But hey, <laughs> it's not a real problem. <laughs> so typically I prefer to spend my money on crafty supplies and not on storage. <laughs> I'm not one for getting too much into organize I, if I get caught up in all that organizational stuff I'd never get any crafting done so I try and keep it simple and affordable and hopefully that might give you some good options for yourself to use so this is the IKEA set of drawers that sits right beside me and on the top I have a precision this is a heavy duty paper cutter it's not particularly expensive compared to some I um just was buying too many blades <laughs> so this one is self sharpening and it cuts really nicely and I keep my misties right beside me um, so the top drawer is still a bit of a work in progress but I have um, got my hot foil bits and pieces in there as well as some inks and this is my Alta New inks I keep them in their colour families and because these drawers don't they don't overextend you can't get right to the back what I've done is I've got them in these trays that fit and then I can just pull them out and grab the ones that are at the back without having to sort of fight for them more ultra new inks the Catherine Pool inks are a little bit different to the other dye inks they're with a they have kind of a foam pad so I actually have started getting the refills for those because it, they do come in handy you actually do need to refill these ink pads a lot more frequently than the other dye ink pads so I do have some of the distress inks and also a few of the oxides I don't use these very much but they're good for techniques so the bottom drawer here has the woodless coloring pencils because it's easy for me to grab them out of there some other pencils and gel pens at the back I don't use the Alta New pigment inks very much more for techniques so I keep them where I can get at them <laughs> easily and tucked down the side here I have my scoreboards I've got the full size one and the small one okay I'll just move the bin out of the road <laughs> So this is the open cupboard I was telling you about. I've got my spare ink sprays. I can just reach down and grab my sequins, my hot foil plate. I uh, also have some spare cardstock and then so I've got my stamping mat there. I can just grab that out if I need it. I have my ATG tool and my plates directly under the Gemini. So I can just grab it ready to go then that's my everyday cardstock I have the Nina as well as the 110 and the 80 pound Nina as well as some copy paper just to use as scrap watercolor cardstock and then in that very bottom one is where I keep things like gum the alternate adhesive sheets I've got some vellum in there this here is just where I put my scraps of cardstock so I've got like half sheet or something and I can just reach down and grab something from there so these are my A4 cardstocks probably the ones I go to the most got all the alternate ones there 
really good quality cardstock. I've also got the Ellen Hudson and Concord and Knight in there as well. This here, so this is just my pizza box that I use to do my spritzing and spraying. You would have seen that probably if you've watched any of my videos. My rose clock normally faces that way for me, so I might show you from that way. Makes more sense, doesn't it? So the bottom shelf, this is where I keep my embossing powders. The foam that I'm just using up, like I said, I've got some embellies, mostly um, the ones that I use most of the time, just sitting right beside me. So because this sits right next to my die cutting machine, I keep the tape for the dies there. That's just some ultra new one inch tape. And then I've got my mini make art station there on the side. This is just a dusting cloth um, uh, tool. That's one of those ones that gets the bits out of the dies. My ultra new watercolor paints and pencils, my scissors and water spray bottle. On the top of the rascal, I've got my sprays that I use the most. So the gold, white, black, um, some pixie spray, glue dots, and the large blending tools because I use them all the time. Copic pens, um, white gel pens, blending, more blending tools, and the Alta New watercolor pencils are there as well. So this insert, I just had to cut the very edges to make it sit in here. And I'll try and remember to link it. I've got a feeling it was from Kmart. It was very inexpensive. I uh, just thought I'd quickly show you this while I'm here. I've got an OXO turntable that I bought from Amazon. And um, I haven't seen any of those ones. This was, I got this idea from Kathy Z. Uh, she has a fancy one. <laughs> but I didn't have access to that. So this seems to work well for me. It doesn't actually sit right on the base of it, but this suctions to the bench or it feels like it does and it's not going anywhere. I've also got some more command hooks and this is the, I just keep my foam tapes here beside me. And this is normally where the Razgog sits. Do have a little disclaimer as well. I am on design teams and I do receive free product. So I do have a lot of stuff, even though I have recently done a big cull, I still do have a lot of crafty supplies. You do not need to have um, everything to be able to create. I started my crafting journey out of a, a box. And I feel really lucky that I am part of some wonderful design teams. And I'm going to put my affiliate links in the description below. So if you choose to use those links, I say thank you very much. That is just a small way that you can support my channel. I get a portion of the sales at no extra cost to you. Now this is probably my favorite storage unit of all. And it's no longer available, otherwise I would have bought more. <laughs> it's great because I like all the kind of cubby holes. They're all different sizes. And this is basically where I store the things that I go to the most in stamps. And I also have my dies as well as my embossing folders and oh, stencils. So I store my stamps by company first and then by theme. And this just helps me kind of keep track of everything. I can just go to the sentiment section and get look for a sentiment because I often plan that out a bit too late. <laughs> on my projects it's like the last thing I decide on using unless I'm working a project around a sentiment. So I can just come and grab that box there or grab this one here which has got my sentiment uh, die, die cuts as well. I tend to store the dies with the sentiment. Sometimes I do have these plastic pockets and um, on the bigger stamp sets here like this one I do have to cut them the actual not the packaging but I have to cut the insert down so that it fits inside the packaging. 
Um, these just fitted better in the plastic bins that I've got. That's the reason why. So this shelf isn't quite as high, but I can put things like my stencils in there or even my embossing folders. Um, but I've actually got them different. I also have some twine in these couple of boxes here. And I keep my Big Shot fits perfectly in that shelf just there. Let's head down to the drawers. Uh, the two top drawers are just boring um, stationery. And then it gets the good stuff. I've got my other watercolours here. Intense pencils, so anything sort of watercolour I put into this drawer. How pretty is that? <laughs> more pretty so I can just roll back in my chair and get this stuff it's just right within arm's reach so these are like glitters and things I can put in shaker cards like my twinklets and the oldie corner chop I actually went to use that the other day and one one side of it's broken I was devoted and stickles is in that drawer so this is the same side as the other one. There's more watercolour, but this is the refills for the Alta New brushes. So I can just pull out this tray. It just sort of sits on the edge of the um, on the edge of the drawers. I can take it over to my workspace and use it. And then these are my chalks. I can't get rid of them because they are handy. I don't use them very often, but they're there if I need them. So this has got my embossing pastes and transfer gel and all the stuff to create alcohol ink backgrounds. I haven't bothered buying any other alcohol ink colours. I know I haven't got many there, but I've got all the refills for my markers, so there's no point spending money on other colours. There's some washi tape. That's my full washi tape collection. <laughs> so another embelly drawer. This one's got my eyelet toolkit, which I rarely use, but can be handy to have as well as some, um, I had to have them, hardly ever used them, but I'm going to, I've brought them out. That's the thing, if I put things away, I never see them and I don't use them. This is a Billy bookcase, it's from Ikea as well, and I've got my Penny Black stamp stored in there as well as my Scan and Cut, and I keep my Christmas stamps and some other of the manufacturers in that one as well. So I do have a bit of a problem when it comes to adhesive and the fear of running out. <laughs> Although I am trying to get better now and and only buy the ones that I use all the time. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I do use it. I have some spare pencils in this drawer as well as some watercolour pencils there and top-ups of the solvent for the Gamsol. I've got some other spares here, some plates and blades and also stampin' magic things and papers for the Misty. That's just a chamois and I buy the big ones and then just cut them down to use them to clean my stamps and some spare um, glitter pens and gel pens. I've got a really big roll of press and seal. I've only just sort of started using that recently. A glue gun, that's a really cheap one just from Spotlight. Hardly ever use it so that's why I didn't bother investing in a fancy one. Oh, I've got a colour catcher there. I don't tend to use that. Uh, it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> and that's my foam stash. So I'm trying to use the coloured foam. I find it's really hard to get the black and white foam here in Australia. So to get just a few sheets of the white or a few sheets of the black, I had to buy like a lot of coloured. So I'm on a mission to use this coloured foam as well. <laughs> So these are the embossing powders that I use often, but not all the time. I have um, a full-size mink machine. I didn't realise I was buying the full-size one at the time, but it was because it was on special and I got it for a good price. I just assumed it was the small one, but hey, <laughs> I wasn't going to send it back. And that's just where I keep my 
some of my foils and this is my Crafty Critter foils and also their, um, of course this card Michelle made that for me. Um, also their foil art as well as their toner sheets. I really enjoy their foils. Okay, these are my Artist Marker refills. I actually use these for alcohol ink backgrounds as well as topping up my pens. I don't get a lot of ink refills as such, but um, the ones that I do get I keep here. Just some bits and pieces for embellishing and decorating, some DMC threads, and that's a, a light box that I saved up for and bought and don't think I've really used very much. I just can't get rid of it yet. And just some, oh, I take this box when I go camping or go away sometimes. It's just um, have some images and I can colour them and paper for the printer. This is the trolley that I bought to put my Cricut on. I kind of had the scan and cut and had never used it and I worked it out. It was just, it was in a box and I had nowhere to put it and nowhere to be able to access it and make it easy to use. If it's not easy to use, I won't use it. So having the ability just to put the machine on here and then wheel it towards me and have everything in place has made a big difference. At least now I can just grab it and just all I have to do is hook it into the plugs. I um, keep all the cords and everything in the top drawer. Still working on this trolley. <laughs> I added a couple of command hooks on the side and the mats are just hanging off that. There's another one at the back. And I've just got a clothes hanger holding my Teflon, the Teflon sheets just to protect when I'm doing the easy press. And another hook on this side, uh, just keep my mat there for the moment. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with that. So my easy press is just kept here. Oh, see? They give you a badge to put it in. And that was my first effort. <laughs> I didn't want to do the Cricut logo, I wanted to make it more fun. I've got some blanks here that I plan to play with. I've just I've just sat my foil transfer kit and the pens in the bottom shelf. Uh, the cupboard itself, I haven't really worked out what I'm going to do here, but I've got the I've got the two lots of um, vinyl separated, so the heat transfer and then the regular vinyls in this one here. I hope that you enjoyed today's tour and got some good crafty storage ideas that you might be able to use for yourself. Don't forget to check out the ideas in the comments below as well. If you liked today's video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon, all those things. And join me again for some more paper crafting videos real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.